What is up guys, Austin Rancho here, and today we're doing another My Morphin Collection episode. This time it's on something really cool, at least I'm super excited about. And it is the Fungo Pop Ultra Zord from Power Rangers. And this was the Comic-Con exclusive for New York Comic-Con, at least I assume. It was a Target Con, there's a whole kind of story I kind of want to go into here on this thing and stuff. But uh, this thing is so cool. Look at the Ultra Zord. Three Zords combined into the one. We got the Mega Zord, the Dragon Zord, and... Tight, tightness is how I call it. I don't know if it's Titanus, whatever you want to call it. All mixed together into the Ultra Zord as seen in the Power Rangers TV show. And so this is number 678 out of Power Rangers. And there's, of course, the Power Rangers. All those um, figures we've got there on the back. It's the 25th anniversary here for Power Rangers. So let's go ahead and get into this. So here it is out of the box. And this thing is so cool and so amazing. This has got to be my favorite pop of all time. And so let's take a deeper look into it. So we'll start from the top, I guess. So here at the top, we've got part of the Dragon Zord head. So there, of course, we got the Dragon Zord head coming down all the way to there. So from there up is the Dragon Zord head. Then also on the sides, you can somewhat see here on the arms, we've got part of the Dragon Zord's body. Um, so its feet and everything is what is made up of here. So we've got, you know, it's... Because I was going to bring my Zords down, the Zord toys, so you can see exactly how this went together and everything. But it's, you know, attaches from the, um, like, body here and the whole body folds up and sits down on top of the Mega Zord. So this is its um, feet and everything for the Dragon Zord coming down. And you can see the little designs there and stuff, the weird little Z things that are on his feet. Again, I don't know if they stand for anything. Then, of course, we got the little Dragon Zord feet logo um, just for the Green Ranger and stuff there on the side stuff. Then underneath that, we got the Mega Zord. So it's of the normal like prong two prong horn of the Megazord head since the Dragon Zord's on top of you you don't see that but you can see the face of the uh, Megazord here the Dino Megazord here then underneath you can see we, it's got its normal arms and everything so you can see the Mastodon the Triceratops or ter uh, Tyrannosaurus I always get those two mixed up every time I say it. the ter um, Pterodactyl which has a covering though on it from um, tightness so the chest plate here so it usually sits down and covers up this front little roller here this part folds up it like up under its neck and this little chest piece here on the megazord usually sits on the front there to cover it up so that's usually like tightness is like front chest plate here um and i believe that's it for him he does have uh um some claws on him which are supposed to like the covering of the front wheels here of tightness that go on his hands there so it's the hands which he's then got the chain in his hands which again it's hard to see all this whole thing the chain in his hand there which of course he uses the control of tightness whatever because you know it's like reins or something on a horse and stuff so it's got the chain attachments right here around the neck and so then it's just the normal megazord from there down and then we go into tightness which again i mentioned that this front chest plate actually folds up into the body and it's got the megazord chest plate here on the front of it but this part here is actually the chest plate of the dragon's ward which pops out which sits in between where like the hole is here for the megazord so that's that piece it sits there and then also on the back we've got the tail of the dragon sword which again comes off the dragon sword and attaches onto the back of tightness sticking on back there so i like how it's got that whole tail on there again it's the dragon's or tail which looks really cool um, as I mentioned, the feet actually fold forward, like these feet actually fold forward like that direction. Then those hands, again, the little like claw looking things that are on the Megazords here hand sit on there to cover that. And then of course it's still got these um, gun pieces, which actually it's tails, so they're supposed to pop off and they stick together and then you can attach them on the back here, making uh, Titanus's tail and everything. And then of course we've got the head of Titanus, which is a Brachiosaurus, or yeah, Brontosaurus, one of the <laughs> Brontosaurus, I believe. Um, so it's got the long neck and stuff. Of course, got the big giant like fan on the top of its head. The mouth and everything, which looks really cool. I love dinosaurs and stuff, so that's awesome to have the dinosaur there. And then, of course, the Megazord sits down in its back here, so this little like uh, flap here opens up out of its back where the Megazord then sits down inside of it and everything. And this thing is so cool. Like, you can just always just see it rolling across the screen. Um, like in the commercials and stuff they did on Power Rangers stuff. So this is so cool. The head looks like it's popped up a little. But this thing is awesome, and I'm so happy and excited that I was able to get it. As you can tell by this video being so much later, I did not get it the day that it was released on the New York Comic Con Day because I would personally, and this is the story I'm going to get into, was confused about what was going on. So this stuff was labeled as Target Con, so they weren't a part of the New York Comic Con. It was just something separate called Target Con. And some of the items, like, um, which I'll 
we'll talk about here in a second, were labeled as, you know, that were shown. I had already seen were being released in stores, so I'm like, okay, these things are going to be released soon, so keep your eye out on targets and stuff, like looking at targets for these items, and of course this was one. So I was like, you know, I'm not in a big rush or anything. I'll wait till I actually see people getting them, then I'll be worried about trying to go to targets and everything and find them. Well, then it came to New York Comic Con Day, and then the, the weekend after, because that was a Friday, so Saturday and Sunday, people on YouTube started uploading videos of going to Target and they got like this and all the other Target Con stuff and I'm like wait I thought it was just going to be you know they're released whenever and they're just a part of Target Con which is in correlation with New York Comic Con but they would just be released you know within the month or something like that and so I got super disappointed that I missed out on this and so of course having this item and being a huge Power Ranger fan and having all the Power Ranger Funkos and stuff I was like I've got to have this so, of course, I started shopping around, looking, and, of course, went to eBay, where people were selling for double the price, so they were $60, $70 and everything, which, you know, was a lot, but I was like, you know, for this, though, I'm willing to pay that much, because I want this so bad, and it's so big and everything, so I feel it's, you know, helps warrant the price of paying so much for a bigger item, except for, you know, it'd be different for a little tiny pop, where it's, you know, something big, and, you know, boisterous and stuff so it'd make it feel more worth it um so i was waiting to get money on a payday for work and everything and so it was a friday i think it was last friday maybe not last friday a week i don't know it was a couple it was the friday after the con i believe or a week or two after i don't know um but it was a pay week so i was like okay i'm gonna order this today when we get off work i'm gonna you know get an ebay card and stuff and buy it and that morning the people which I want to shout out, which is um, Nerd Therapy or on Twitter and stuff, Funko Pop Hunters. They're a local group here in Indiana. Um, a couple of their amazing people have an awesome YouTube channel, and I follow them for all sorts of Funko-related stuff. They post it. They Every time new Funkos go on sale and stuff, they post the links and everything. So if you haven't been following them, please do. If you want to keep up with Funko and everything, they do such an amazing job and always provide links and help the community out so much. But they posted the link right as I was looking at it that morning, early that morning. They had just posted the link. So I was quickly, quickly able to like get onto it, order it, and got it from Target at normal price, not paying any extra or anything for it. And so I was super excited about that. And of course, I used to work at Target stuff, so I have a red card and everything. Got free shipping and all that sort of stuff. So that saved me so much money, and I'm so thankful for them. And I showed you know appreciate uh, should appreciate it on Twitter and stuff, thanking them a lot and stuff. Um, so if you want to like like I said, follow them if you don't already. Which if you're here watching Funkos, I would assume you already do because. I don't know why you'd be going anywhere else for Funko News besides them because they're so good at it and everything. But i got to thank them so much for giving me this piece into my collection. It's so happy that I was finally able to get it at a good price. And this thing is just so cool. And as I said, this has got to be my number one favorite Funko Pop. Close to the um, ECCC uh, Captain America from a year or two ago. That thing's probably my absolute favorite Captain America. And has now been moved down second behind this as my absolute favorite pop. So I'm so happy and excited to have finally have gotten the Ultra Zord. Containing, again, once, like I said, three Zords. And, of course, Titanus, which is my absolute favorite Zord from Power Rangers ever. And so having him included in here is super awesome. And I'm so happy for this. And I... Just, I'm just so happy and excited that I got this and everything. But that's going to be it for this video for today. So if you enjoyed, let me know in the comments below. Let me know, did you get this or any pops that you're wanting from New York Comic Con? I know this has been a couple weeks, but maybe have you gotten since reorders and stuff have went up since then. Like, I know some places have re... Um, put orders up again did you able to, were you able to get what you wanted um if you did let me know in the comments down below don't forget to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more power ranger videos and funko videos here on the channel thank you for watching and we'll see you next time